Hi everyone, I am Cindy from Stamp the Night Away, and today we are going to be making this awesome card. Doesn't it look so much fun? And wait, there's more. When you open it up, voila! I love it. So much fun. <clears throat> so we are going to be making this today. It features the Back on Your Feet stamp set. So get well cards, thinking of you, that kind of stuff. Um, the cardstock we're going to be using is Muta Bay, Basic Gray, and Whisper White. Now, don't worry about writing any of this down. In the description bar below, you will see uh, all the measurements and all the supplies I used to make this card. So, don't forget to click there if you want to purchase any of this through my online store. <coughs> and don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me. Let's jump in and get started. <coughs> so to start, I have a card base that is a piece of eight and a half by 11, cut in half and scored in half. So I cut it at five and a half and I scored at four and a quarter. That is folded in half. And then for your stamping pieces, let's see, let me bring this all in here so you guys can see it. There's a lot of layers to this card. So this is the one we're gonna be stamping our sentiment on. And let's see, this one, we are gonna be putting our background on. <coughs> So let's get started here. Need a couple blocks. This one is a B block. We're gonna put our sentiment on that one. And this is not good is what we are gonna be using today. And then let's see. We need a block for our giraffe. And a block for our turtle. So I put our giraffe on an I block, and I'm putting the turtle on a D block. All right, and I am going to be stamping the sentiment in Bermuda Bay, which matches our cardstock. I'm just going to line this up in the corner here on my grid paper. And I'm not writing any of this down. It's in the description bar. It's also all written on my blog um, where you'll see this video and also a tutorial on making the card. All right, I have my stamp and scrub off to one side. Let me show you here. So this is just what I clean my stamps on. So I'm going to put some Stamp and Mist on there and clean my stamp off. All right. Put the ink away before I stick my hand in it. The next color we are going to be using is this gray granite as our outline color. We'll pull this up here. I'm going to stick my draft off to the side on the right. Clean that one off. And then I'm going to stick my turtle down on the bottom left hand side so we make sure we have enough room for our sentiment. Like so. Now comes the fun part. We get to color them in. So to color in the draft, I use the blends markers. Oh, one second. Let's put this ink pad away. I'm notorious for sticking my hands in the ink. All right, so I use the pumpkin pie blends. 
I use the dark and the light. So I am going to start with the light and I'm going to color my whole draft. Do, 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 do. I'm not great at coloring in the lines, but I do love these blends markers. They make me look so good at coloring and I'm really not. Make sure I don't turn his eye orange. I don't know. What got, color do you guys think a draft should be? I think pumpkin pie is a good color. Maybe a yellow. Let's get them all colored in. So then I'm going to, once I get them all colored in in the light, I'm going to start coloring in his spots in the dark. And then we'll come in and blend those colors together. All right, there we go. So now I'm going to come in with the dark, and I'm going to use the thin tip. Some of these spots are kind of small. I want the spots to stand out, so I'm not going to blend them with the light again too much. But I'm going to go ahead and color them with the dark. All the way up. And it's not tied in a neck. Neck tied in a knot. Wow, I'm talking in backwards today. All right. And then I'm going to do the two little knobs on the top, too. And then I'm going to start over. I'm going to come in and color all of them again just to make them a little bit darker. The blends dry really fast. So if you want something darker, all you have to do is wait a couple seconds and then you can come back in and color over it and it will make it even darker. So I want these to really pop out. So I'm just gonna go over them one more time. And again, this is the thin end of the pumpkin pie dark blend. Maybe do a little bit inside of these ears too. And then I'll come back in with the light. And just blend it in a little bit. There we go. All right, so that is it for the pumpkin pie. Then I'm going to come in with some soft suede light and I'm going to do his hooves. I don't really want him to have orange hooves. So I'm just going to go over those and color them in. All right, there is our draft. Next I am going to do the turtle and I am going to use shaded spruce, light and dark. And I am also going to use Granny Apple Green Light. And again, all these supplies are listed below. And if you click on them, it'll take you straight to my online store. And it will also, um, they're all listed out on my blog. Yeah. All right, so we are going to color his whole shell in in the Shaded Spruce Light. Got a little bit of his leg there. And then I'm going to come back in and do parts of it in the dark, just like I did the giraffe. And then on his body is where I am going to use the granny apple green. There we go. Come back in with the dark and I'm going to color in these bottom squares. Like so. Almost done. Alright, 
come back in with the light and blend that in a little bit. And then we're going to come in with the Granny Apple Green. I actually think that might be a little too light. Let's try the other end. There we go. For some reason, my narrow end of my Granny Apple Green wasn't working very well. Let's try that again. Get his little toes. Right, we don't want his eye green. Make sure we go around that. All right. Let's see, let's grab our dark green and apple green. And I'm just gonna color over where the stamp already has it shaded. and then come back over it with the light. All right, there we go. Set all those off to the side. Oh, I almost forgot, we have one more sentiment to stamp. Sometimes that is all there is to say in that I'm here for you. So I'm gonna put that on a piece of Whisper White that is two, sorry, looking at my notes here. Two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And we are also gonna stamp that in the Bermuda Bay. And that is gonna go on the inside of our card. Sorry, I gotta check one more thing. I almost stamped it the wrong way. We're gonna stamp this at a diagonal. There we go. Clean that stamp off. All right, now we are ready to assemble our card. So, I am gonna grab my Stamp and Seal and my Stamp and Seal Plus. And we are going to start, set all this stuff aside, with adhering this piece to our gray granite, no, not gray granite, sorry, basic gray. Um, and then this piece is cut at three and three quarter by five inches. And this is cut at four inches by five and a quarter. Let's see if I can get this to go here. So then if you just tip this up and flick it backwards, it cuts the adhesive off really good as I tape it down to my piece of paper. So tip it up, flick it back. All right, we are gonna put that on our piece of basic gray. And then we're going to adhere this to our card base. like so. All right, next we are going to put these pieces together. So this piece is one and a quarter by one and a half. No, I'm sorry, the gray is one and a quarter by one and a half. The white is three quarters of an inch by, no, I am really bad with my measurements today. 
The white is one inch by one and a quarter. So it's a quarter inch shorter and narrower. It's all my borders. And then the gray is a quarter inch shorter and narrower than the Bermuda Bay. And again, all these measurements are listed below. All right, we're gonna set that aside. Next, we are going to put together our inside pieces. So you need two of each, two gray, the two white, and the two Bermuda Bay. And if you wanted to, you wouldn't have to do all of these layers inside the card. I just thought it made it really pop. Okay. Wait till you see how simple doing that inside is going to be. And I totally just, I'm going to set that one aside for a second. put the adhesive on the wrong piece, but I think it's okay. It's inside enough that it's gonna be covered up. There we go. And one more. All right. Who is ready to see how to do the inside? All right, we are gonna take a piece of Whisper White. And this is six inches by six inches. We're gonna take our stamp and trimmer and we are gonna score it at three inches. So the scoring one is the lighter of your two. All right, we're gonna rotate it and we're gonna score it at three inches again. So I don't know if you can see that, but essentially you just scored it in half and in half again. And now I'm gonna take it and line it up and I'm gonna score it along one diagonal, not both, just one. So I'm gonna line up my two corners with my track here. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna look in, sorry about my camera. Make sure that my corners are lined up in that track. And then I'm going to score it along the diagonal. That's it. That's all you have to do. No cutting, just a little bit of scoring on a piece of six by six. All right, so now we're going to fold our score lines. And you wanna make sure you take a bone folder or something and you really burnish these edges. Press them down and make sure they're folded really well. All right, then the next one. I totally scored the, folded the, the wrong way. All right, do this one. Again, burnish it really well. It's just gonna make your card close that much easier. All right, and then what you'll do is you'll, on your diagonal, you're gonna take it and you're gonna push your two diagonals in, like so. Again, just make sure you burnish everything really well. All right. So, the next thing we are gonna do, is you're gonna fold this up you're gonna take your stamp and seal plus. Just to give it that little bit of extra stick. And you do the same thing with this one. You roll it down, and you tip it up, and flick it backwards. And I am gonna cover this in adhesive. I really don't want it coming off. All right, so I'm gonna open up my card. Now I only put adhesive on one side right now. I'm going to line this up in the middle with the tip of my thing, or my folded piece, right at the edge of my card. 
so it fits. So line that up in the middle, put the tip right at the edge, and put it down. Next, we're going to put adhesive on this other side. You don't want to do that first because you're just going to stick your fingers to it everywhere. Cover it. All right, and now to line up the next side, we're just going to close our card. Just like so. All right, you guys ready for the magic? And we open it up. There you go. Ah, I'm so excited. I love it. All right. So we're going to come back to our stamp and seal. We're going to put it on our squares that we made earlier. Once you get that flicking thing down, it works really well. It took me forever to figure out how to use these stamp and seals. All right, we're going to put our sentiment in the top. And we're going to put our blank one in the bottom square. Like so. Now, if you wanted, you could decorate these inside panels. I just left them blank. It gives you more room to write if you want to leave a message instead of just a little two-inch square. Um, but feel free to decorate them any way you would like. And then you close your card up, and voila! All right, we're going to grab a couple dimensionals to pop up this one. And we're going to stick that right on the front. And there is our card done. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If there's anything you think I can do better on my videos. And don't forget to like and share. And come back to visit me next time. Bye.